good YouTube? This is Z Baby, aka Z Money, with another video. And in today's video is going to be a feminine hygiene video. So basically, I'm just gonna be giving you some tips to keep it smelling good down there for the spring and summertime. I haven't done a video like this in a minute. Um, I have done it previous too, but there are certain things that I do in the summertime to keep my poopy on smelling good. So if you're interested in this type of content, keep watching this freaking video. And shout out to all my new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all that has subscribed. Y'all, do not judge me. I am wearing, I know, like fall, uh, what is it, fall PJs or whatever, but it's cold in my house right now. And where I live at, I live in... Shoot, I live in DC, Manitown, what's what metropolitan area, and it's still cold up here. It's warm in the daytime, but at night it's cold. So like, I don't, I have summer PJs, but I'm like, forget that. So don't make fun of it. But anyway, let's get into the video. So basically, I'm gonna be giving you ladies and tips on how to keep your vagina smelling good for the summer and springtime. So we're just gonna go ahead and get to the video. I'll be right back. Right, tip number one is invest in good soap. I think I said this before on my channel. So basically the soaps that I use for my personal self would have to be Dove and Olay because those two have been getting me good. Like they've been getting me like so good. And I'm just like um, impressed with them. But however, I'm reaching, you know, to different companies to wash my poop banana with and I will say that Suave is really doing it. Y'all, I went to the Target and got me some Suave body uh was body shower gel, whatever. Because um lately like I've been running out of soap, um bar soap, and I'm trying to tell you like the Suave shower gel, I think it's like between I don't know if it's peach or I forgot what it is, but it's orange has been working like no irritation no nothing keep it smelling good down there you don't have to worry about getting no leaky yeast infection none of that it's just it works effective just like dove but the products i'm telling you like i was gonna share that i'm like you know what let me tell my subscribers about the daggone swab shower gel soft soap is given don't get it wrong i just finished the soft soap not too long ago but i'm trying to tell you the swab shower gel what? Oh my God, I'm looking for it and I don't know where it is. I think I threw it away. But the point that I'm making is, y'all, y'all want to smell good and keep yourself smelling good for the summertime, make sure you check out some freaking swab shower gel and make sure you have Olay and Dove soap. This number two thing to keep your kitty cat smelling good down there is make sure that you wash in the morning time and you wash at night. And if you do have time, in the middle of the day, you can also wash in the daytime because let me tell you something, me working as an adult, when I get off from work and I go down and I open up my legs and use the bathroom sometimes, even if I do use a wipe or something during the day, I'm just saying like, it just be hot down there. Like not real hot, but I'm just saying, <laughs> y'all gotta excuse me, I'm up here drinking this wine. But you know what I'm saying? Especially like if you had a long day or whatever and you sweating. Sweat just doesn't smell good down here, underneath here. So personally, like if I want to go out or whatever, and you can ask my friends, it takes me forever to get ready. I, it probably takes me about like two, three hours to get ready. Cause like me personally, like I like to take a long bath. I like to wash in between my behind. I like to make sure my kitty cat down there is smelling good. I make sure I have my vinegar bath and my soap and my water. And I get, you know, the crevices. And also the great thing about the bath is, and I think I said this before, but this is gonna be for this video. The thing about the bath is you get to open up them legs. You know what I mean? You get to open them crevices up, open open your legs back up, okay? Open your legs wide. Make sure you have your cloth or whatever, your soap. And don't be stingy with the soap. Make sure that you put a lot of freaking soap on the cloth and get in between the twat and move your lips back and wipe in between them lips. That's how you gonna get all that stuff out. Because, you know, when I was younger, I really didn't know how to clean myself, you know. I just it was trial and error. But now that I'm a full grown adult, and especially for the summertime, that's what you want to do. You want to move your areola, your clitoris, whatever. Move that piece and move it to the side, and take that rag and wash wall to wall. Make sure it's 
Okay, like Chris Brown, wall to wall, get everything, get it clear and get it together. And also, like, make sure you cut the hair down there so you can make sure that, like, you're pooping on this, being kept, you know, <laughs> what's the word? It's being kept well down there. Me personally, like hair, holds smell. So just, and then especially down there, you're peeing, you knew, doing a number two, you're doing all these extra things. When you're down there, it is good to have wipes. Like wipes are very, very helpful. But however, we don't want to be substituting wipes for showers because then we would just be naysayers and haters and people be like, the heck she talking about? No, we want to make sure if you cleaning those lips down there that you also use a wipe and you also get in some hot boiling water with soap and you make sure you wash your body. That is nothing better than having a hot, very hot tub and it's just, it feels, I don't know. I just love taking me a bath, I'm telling you. Like you could give me some bath and some wine and some good D and I'll be good. But what I'm saying is when you want, what is, I swear, my family. Every time I film these videos, y'all, my family, they be making more noise than normal. Y'all, y'all see my edges? I'm being so real in this video. I think it's the wine. But anyway, what I'm saying is, I need to get my hair done too. What I'm saying is when you're in the summertime, when you want to keep it smelling good down there, you want to make sure that you're using soap and water all the time. And you, since you're going to be using the soap and water and you're going to be getting the coo cootie cat down there all good, when you step out the tub, you want to make sure that you're using some lotion so your booty can be feeling glistening because sometimes, you know, the booty and everything can be dry, so you have your booty. Okay, we're gonna now that we step out our tub, we want to use some good lotion and keep our body smelling bomb. After that, you want to make sure that the pupunana again is smelling good and it's together. So me personally, what I like to wear is, and I do like to wear thongs, but I like to wear comfortable thongs. And I'll video up here about my comfortable underwear. Um, because I have a thong trying hard. I think I was wearing these. But y'all, I'm trying to tell you, breathable and underwear that actually fits you is the best. Like, look how airy these are. And these are like kind of cotton or whatever. The material is not messed up. Now, these right here is just to get it in. Like, these are kind of airy, but like, you can see how the string is. And this is what I'm talking about. See, when you're in the hot sun and then all this is up your butt, mm -mm. You can have, you know, comfortable, breathable panties. And at nighttime, oh, hold on, hold on. Before I stop, before, wait, we're gonna pause on that one. Also, if we're on your period, we can also use some breathable panties because you don't under, you don't understand investing in good underwear when you're on your period is just like the same thing when you're off your period. And see, did you see how the stretchy, these are like um, spandex, cotton, I think these are cotton now. Don't let the spandex fool you. These are cond um, condoms. <laughs> I'm lit. Um, these are stretchy underwear, basically. And um, they're great for when you're on your period. But what I was going to say, what was I gonna say? It was gonna be really funny and I can't remember. Oh my God, y'all. I have got to stop drinking wine when I do this freaking video. I'm trying to remember what I said. I'm gonna come back to y'all in a few minutes. Okay, I remember. So basically, if you want, you know, your kitty cat, poo nana, banana, whatever, smelling good down there, is to when you go, when you go to bed at night, stop wearing panties. I mean, like I know some of like people do plenty of these videos, especially these YouTube videos or whatever, and I've only seen maybe one or two people talk about this at nighttime, and they were absolutely right. Stop wearing panties at night, ladies. Stop wearing the panties. Listen, what you can do is like, this is what I do. If I'm alone or whatever, like if I'm sleeping by myself or whatever, what I like to do is, I like to have my PJs on while I'm walking around because I live with family and I can't just be throwing my panties off right in front of my family. That's nasty and that's disgusting and we ain't doing no incest over here. But what I'm saying is, if you want the poo poo not to smell good, take off your PJs. 
and it, a lot of people don't know themselves. But when I wear my PJs or whatever, I don't wear panties. Like I don't, I don't wear panties. Cause I'd be like, what's the point of wearing panties? Like I'm already going to take them off. Because when I go to sleep, I don't sleep with my pajamas on all the time. Like I only do it for in the house. So this is a fact, like try to wear some PJs or whatever and pull everything off. Now, when you gotta go to the bathroom, you can put it back on. But me personally, I feel like, first of all, I feel like this, the kid down there needs to breathe. Like there's no reason for it to be all cooped up. See, the people that got this little cooter catter inside of the pillow or always inside the PJs all the time, I feel like it smell bad. Let it breathe sometimes. Sometimes it just wants to be there. And you know, like, especially if you live in what you do, or you what you do, or you at your bay house, or whatever, and you in the bed, and y'all just chilling, or whatever, and y'all y'all looking at each other, or whatever, and it feels, like I said, a fresh of breath air, when you could just lay without no panties, no underwear, and lay next to your bay, and your cat don't stink, and you could just be looking at him and he looking at you. You might fake go to sleep like you're going to sleep. Yep, I'm going to sleep. Whole time, as soon as you try to go to sleep, you ought to get it in. So, what I'm saying, if you want that type of confidence, you need to make sure when you go to bed at night that you don't wear no panties. You don't need to have no man for no motivation for that. You need to just, like I said, let her breathe. Like, you got to let it breathe down there. I don't know. Like, And I feel like that's the best way to... um go to sleep is without no panties, period. But anyway, those are all the tips I have for keeping, you know, your VJJ, your pool nani smelling good for the spring and summertime. Please leave a comment down below and like, comment, and subscribe. And like I said on my videos, let me know how I'm doing my videos because I need to know how I'm doing my videos and I will catch you guys in my next video. Y'all, this one right here, I can't even show you the bottle. I should show you the bottom, but mm, I don't know y'all. Y'all might judge me. All right, but that second line for me right back. Y'all, let me tell y'all about this wine. Like, first of all, um, this video is not even sponsored, but y'all, the perfect thing about this wine is that number one is it tastes great when you put it in the refrigerator. Number two is it got this crispy taste to it. And number three, it is $10 and it is at Giant and I have been loving it ever since. This is the Sauvignon Blanc um, Fortara. I don't know how to, all I know is it's award winning wine, y'all. This is my favorite Whoops. And I think it's on freaking, um, it says listen to them on Spotify. They got some type of music. And it's been out since 1883. But y'all, this is my wine. Y'all gotta try some. But anyway, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys like the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Have y'all noticed I just dropped my dang on um cap for my wine? But anyway, y'all, this gets you lit and it's good. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Bye.